Needle felting a dragon, how's he getting on? Hey, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs and we've been continuing to work on my needle felted dragon. Every Thursday I make a needle felted tutorial so if this is something you're interested in hit subscribe below and just now we're working on our dragon series. And this week where we've got to is covering his wings in the purple fibre and the rest of his body and I've worked on a bit of a sparkly jewel-like texture and colour for his chest in shades of greens and pinks and I have no idea if that's going to show up nicely on the camera. Okay, so let's get into the video and see how I got to this stage. Okay, so first of all here I decided to cover up the wings because these ends of the wings were really getting stuck in my hair and annoying me and getting in the way. So I'm just wrapping from the shoulder all the way down, right over his arm and then off the bottom of one of the fingertips of his wing. Now I don't find any trouble really felting, um, wrapping the wool onto the bare wire like this. If I hold it at one end and just keep it tight, I can pull all the way down and then you can either wrap down and wrap up a wee bit or you can wrap down and gently pull off the end if you've got too much fleece so that it just finishes like that without without having too much bulk at the bottom so just holding the top wrapping all the way down you can see here there's a bit too much fleece so I just pull a section off twist it round and then felt a bit just to hold it in place just now I'm going to be coming back over this loads of times so I don't need to felt it loads in the beginning but it holds really well if it's just kind of felted on at both ends <laughs> then it will hold while I'm faffing around and doing everything else and when I've got time just going over the whole thing to make sure it's all felted together rather than just being wrapped like I did before when I'm pulling off pieces of this this lovely purple bat and if you haven't already check out my reviews of this in the playlists um, but I'm just pulling off as much of a strip as I can and then gently drafting off the fibres by pulling them between my finger and thumb so they stretch out and all head in one direction a wee bit more so it's almost like like a tops so that I can wrap a lot easier and a lot finer. And then once these wingtips are covered that is so much easier for me to <laughs> get working about everything else. Like I say, it was literally, it was catching in my hair, it was catching in my wool, just that little end tip of the bare wire at the wings. So much easier to have it all wrapped up and finished with. I've still got to decide what to do with, with this white bit in the middle of his wing, what I'd call his thumb. I'm trying to figure out whether I want that to have a talon in it or just make it purple. Right, for the centre of his tummy, I've got this wonderful tops that's a blend of greens and purples and pinks and all I'm doing is I'm gently pinching off little bits of it and laying them over his chest because I want the chest to be a little bit special. I debated leaving it white and blending in maybe some pinks and everything but then I remembered I had this stunning bats and also I asked on my Facebook group what people thought and they did say the greens and the purples but maybe with a bit of sparkles so I went I went with what everybody suggested so pulling this off so it's all facing the lines are all in the same direction and I'm just tacking it on basically with this six needle tool and then I'm going to needle felt it onto the chest once I'm happy and literally I'm just pulling off just little strips of colour just to add add in extra colour where I think it needs it. So there I pulled off a more pinky section and put it at the sides. So we're going to be blending from the greens but it's coming out to a more pinky colour at the edges and I'm adding on the purples at the side as well so I can start blending the two colours a little together at the edges. But I'm mainly making sure that the needle when it's going into the fibre it's not just going straight down so I'm going a little bit perpendicular to the so parallel to the body of the dragon but I'm going up in the direction that I've laid the fibres down in as well because if I go if if I needle felt it parallel to the body but going sideways across then I'll blend the colours together a bit more and I didn't want to do that at this stage 
My thinking making a nice different colour with the dragon's tummy is often in literature Tolkien talks about I think it's Smog the dragon he has all the jewels on his chest from where he's been lying in all these big piles of of gold and treasure um, and also you know like you're thinking about if they as a mythical beast so if they have fire in there I wanted a, a, a fire looking like there was there was something special going on in his belly and I've got this also this fantastic tops here that um it's a purple color but a little more mauve and it's got this lovely synthetic sparkly fiber through it which isn't quite showing up the same on camera but it's it's quite iridescent again um it has greens and pinks and purples in in its glitteriness so I thought that would be perfect in there so I'm just putting a fine layer on top now obviously the synthetic fibers this um whatever it is they've used for the sparkle it doesn't in itself felt but when you have little pieces of fleece kind of going over and under it they're catching and they're they're felting it in leaving little edges sticking out to give a little bit of a glimmer um, and it gives quite a almost a chain maily effect. It, it's quite it's quite nice. It, again, it's difficult to show up on camera, but it gives a lovely little sparkle. And the stripes of colours I've put on underneath, they're only just showing through slightly. So it just gives a different kind of effect. It's almost like he's got an armoured belly there. And then I just decided at this stage, because we've nearly covered the whole thing, just to finish off covering the whole of his back and fill in any patches that need it with within his legs and anywhere else that I've already covered. So just pulling off little thin strips of the beautiful purple fibre, popping them onto any areas that need it, and then it's just felt, felt, felt. Spend a good few hours felting this down just to get it to the nice smooth texture that I want and if any holes pop up any gaps any thin patches just filling that in some more using the fact that he's got the metal armature I can pose him a little bit so making sure that I felt from every direction lifting his arms pulling them down moving his legs aside so that he's completely covered and there's no gaps if you happen to to move an arm or something but so he is getting really close there. I think I've just got to finish the wings and then we'll be getting onto the head, which I am procrastinating on. I won't lie. I'm just trying to imagine how I want his head to be. So I'm leaving that till the end. But so far, I think he's coming on really well. He definitely looks dragonish and the colours are looking quite stunning. I'm quite quite happy with that purple colour and then using up my beautiful sparkles and blended colours that I've got in the past. It's, he's starting to look quite lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're enjoying seeing my progress, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Check out my playlist to the side to see how we've made the dragon up to now. And don't forget to come back every Thursday. Thank you.